Hey, good morning, everyone. Really nice to be with you. Thanks for joining me in our daily encouragement. I read a report about a study that was done on parents, and I think I fall into this category, unfortunately, but uh, how many times a day, compared to how many times a day uh, a parent gives negative comments to their children as opposed to positive ones? You know, how many times they say, no, stop doing that, don't do that, knock that off, hey, get better here, as opposed to, hey, great job, hey, way to go. What well, was 10 to 1? 10 to 1. So you can just imagine the conditioning. I don't know if you grew up in a home like that. I think I did. Mine may have been 100 to 1. Who knows? You know, we all, we all got bad stuff, whatever. But uh, that conditioning is being to think about that stat and uh, how often we're told no, can't, don't, all that stuff. And then we're told to read the Bible and experience God's love, experience God's grace, experience God's favor. We've had so much conditioning about how uh, uh, bad we are, how many things we do wrong, how terrible. When we read the Bible, I think we read it through that lens. I don't think, I know we do. We have this conditioning. We read it through the lens, and instead of the Bible being a book of God's grace, God's favor, God's love for you, His unconditional love, His amazing grace, we read it through, oh, I'm bad. I'm never going to get there. Uh, it's, it's always going to be bad for me. God can't love me. And I want you today to see if you can just take that aside and say, God, all this conditioning that has been put into me, all the negative that I've heard, God, let me hear the truth of your word because God's book, if it's anything, is a book of God's love for you, God's love for humanity. And God wants to restore you and redeem you and see all that negative stuff that you've been a part of your whole life, even from our parents, to be um, transformed, changed into the image of of a son who, a daughter who's beloved by God, dearly loved by God, worth the cost of the greatest entity in the universe, his only son. Jesus, thank you. Help us today to see through the fog of our negativity, through the fog of our upbringing, through the fog of all the things that we've been told that we can't do, aren't able to do, shouldn't do, knock that off to stop and rest in the grace and the goodness of a God who loves us. Pray we'd see it today in Jesus' name. Amen. Man, I want you to see it today because God is so for you. He loves you so much. And I love you too. I want you to have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow.